Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash bookshow. Then go over to morbidlybeautiful.com as we are now part of the Morbidly Beautiful Podcasting Network. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! No flow too! No flow too! You're Everybody here dies by dawn. Dead by dawn! Welcome, welcome to the Spook to Show. The show. <laughs> welcome to the All American Spook Show podcast. In this special episode, we kick off 2024 with our thoughts on 2023 horror cinema. It was a year of returns of nuns, exorcists, the evil dead, kaiju, killers, both Ghostface and Jigsaw. We learn what to do when evil lurks, don't hold on to embalmed hands, and new ways to celebrate Thanksgiving. Don't camp in deserts or knock on cabins. Watch out for dancing AI robots, aliens, and bears jacked up on cocaine. We hope you've come ready to agree and disagree with some of our favorites and the ones we hated in another great year for horror. I, I don't, I, you know, say what you will about, you know, uh, the current state of horror, you know, compared to some of the stuff we love from the past. But I think it was another pretty good year of horror. And that's kind of what we'll be talking about today is the stuff that we really loved, some of the stuff we hated, and all that stuff in between. But th- there was a lot, a lot this past year in 2023. So we figured what better way to kick off 2024 than to talk about 2023. So this is our annual year in review that we've done the last few years of what we love, what we hated, and all that jazz. So, uh, of course, I'm joined here with Donnie. Yo. Tiana. Hey. And the Professor Smoke. What's up? And we're starting off the new year with the trend of Will is not here. (laughs) So the way we usually kick off every year, pretty much. Uh, Honestly, though, I mean, like, unless we, you know, we we always say this kind of thing, unless we make him watch something, he's probably not watching too many horror movies independent of what we're watching here on the show. So he probably wouldn't have much to add to these festivities today anyway. So. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about. But before we dive deep into it, I want to go ahead and throw out, go to the center of the spook show universe at aaspookshow.com. From there, you can go to our, uh, all of our past podcast archives. You can go to our YouTube page where every month we have video vortex, grindhouse gutter, hammer horror in order, uh, lots of cool stuff just about every week over there. And, and of course our new podcast episodes get uploaded there as well. So lots of cool stuff to check out on our YouTube channel. And we also encourage you to go to patreon.com slash AA spook show. You can get there from the website as well. And there we have video mini sodes every month, including the library, the professor, and of course our much maligned series on our end, but the listeners and the viewers love it. Crapster piece theater. That's, in, that's included every month. If you become a patron over on patreon.com slash AA spook show. So, uh, we'll have a new selection later on this month. And, uh, once we tally all the votes, cause it's literally January 1st, the, the polls just closed last night. So as soon as we tabulate all that stuff up, you'll see what's going to be later this month over on our socials and at aaspookshow.com. So I guess that's, uh, that, that's pretty much a, a wrap on all that. So I guess we'll, we'll get started on what we loved and what we hated this past year in 2023 horror. I have to say for myself, man, I probably enjoy, at least mid to upper enjoyed most everything I saw this year, but there was some shit and we'll get into the <laughs> shit, right? And there was some, <laughs> there was some really shitty ones like there, you know, like there always is, but I forgot to count how many I actually watched, but I kept like a running list all year and then I would give it a star rating kind of as I went just so I, you know, wouldn't have like, a, let me think at the end of the year kind of thing where I had these things ranked. So I do myself, I, I do have kind of like a, a list in mind, but Donnie, is there something we'll start with you? Like something off the top of your head that, that you saw this year that you really love, like the one that stands above the rest, um, right, just right off the top of your head. Oh man, probably, um, evil dead rise that one. And, uh, Thanksgiving. I have, uh, I have evil dead Rise as If it's not my top, it's right there with two or three other movies. Yeah. As my favorite of the year. I think it was really a pretty good uh, return to form in a lot of ways for yeah. the Evil Dead franchise. Just to get something new for the first time in a long time, honestly, was 
you know, in that series was worth the price of admission to me. What What do you think, Professor? Uh, well, you talking about just uh, about Evil Dead Rise right now? Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. I thought it was. See, now the the <laughs> the remake. What year was that? Twenty third? No, twenty thirteen. Fourteen. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a decent remake. It was a good remake. This one, for it to be in the saw, I haven't seen any of the Bruce Campbell versus, or Ash versus Evil Dead, rather. I haven't seen that TV series yet, so I can't really compare it to that. But, I mean, I mean, it was nice to see the Deadites back on the screen, and they moved the action from the from your usual cabin in the woods set, set up, or, or if we're talking about Army of Darkness, medieval times. But <laughs> yeah. And, uh, like I said, I haven't seen Ash versus Evil Dead, so I really don't even know what the setting to that one is, but I don't think, I'm sure it's not all in the woods, because no. it's a whole TV series. <laughs> no. It's, but it's, yeah, it was good to see it back on the screen. It's just, uh, that's you know, it. I'm not the most kindest and forgiving of uh, of modern <laughs> horror as we get each year, successive year. Yeah, but every, I, I, I every, did, every year your 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 beard gets grayer and your your love your hate, <laughs> I should say, of horror becomes deeper and deeper. <laughs> <laughs> true, yeah, it's probably true. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm probably of all of us, I'm probably the one that's seen the least amount of a uh, new horror of 2023 horror films, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Tiana, does anything stick out in your mind as like your 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 definitely your favorite, or or do you have like a handful, or is it one in particular that just kind of sticks out for you? Oh, there's a tie this year for my top, and that's um, talk to me, and when evil lurks. Ugh. Yeah, that one. But and I and I'll agree, both of those are on my tops right there with Evil Dead Rise. Honestly, all three for pretty vast different reasons. Yeah. When Evil Lurks is so fucked up. It is, <laughs> it is dark. Now, didn't you guys, the, the Smokes, didn't you say that you went and saw The Exorcist Believer and, and When Evil Lurks at the same time? Yeah, we saw yeah. When Evil Lurks first, and that was a big mistake yeah, as that, far as well, that's how the cards played, they played out. We weren't honestly expecting that much from Exorcist. We were just hoping for yeah, a halfway yeah. decent Exorcist franchise horror movie and... uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. When Evil Lurks blew it out of the water, and I didn't really say what my favorites were, but it is up there. Probably my second. My first was actually one we haven't talked about yet. Was Godzilla minus one? Was my favorite movie of 2023, probably. Yeah, I still haven't but, uh, got to see that yet. I really do. I mean, I love Godzilla. I just haven't had a chance to go check it out yet. But I'll, I'll be getting on that soon. Yeah, but yeah, When Evil Lurks set my personal second favorite, and I, I don't know my third. May, maybe somewhere either Talk to Me or uh, Evil Dead Rise, maybe. Yeah, I mean that that honestly, you know, without getting into specific rankings, those are my top three for sure. And th and Donnie, you mentioned Thanksgiving. That's right there for me too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention oh, that yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> True. Actually now I take that back. I would put Thanksgiving ahead of <laughs> it would be my third. I would, so it's Godzilla minus one, number one. Talk or not talk to me. When Evil Lurks number two and Thanks Kill Thanksgiving. I almost said Thanksgiving. No God. Uh, no, that's my favorite. But <laughs> Thanksgiving number Jeez. three. I don't, then, I don't think anyone has ever uttered that. I would hope, <laughs> except for the dude that made it. <laughs> Good Lord. But yeah, when evil lurks, man, like that's one of those ones really that sticks with you, you know, like, God, there, there's so many huge impactful moments in that, in that movie. And I know, you know, we're not getting into deep talks and, and, uh, definitely and not any, uh, spoilers or anything for the, you know, for this episode, but man, I'll just say that one scene and when evil lurks with the dog, Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, got all it. Whoa, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> and Donnie, you're you're not gonna like that. You're not gonna like it. Yeah, I've read it. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, look. I haven't. I, I I haven't seen it. I oh. haven't seen it. So oh, you will soon know. enough. I'm telling you, like, we need to get this on the show, like post haste. Like, <laughs> we need we need to get it in the uh, the selections here in the early months of uh, 2024 for sure. Because I think that's one that. Uh, that needs a deeper discussion. I'll say that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but I, I, I think like when, uh, evil dead rise, when evil lurks, Thanksgiving, uh, maybe even talk to me. I think these are the kind of movies that you'll talk about for years. Like, you know, when you think back on 2023, you know, and, and you can remember when, you know, such things like we do, like when these movies came out and stuff, these are the ones that are going to kind of stick with you, but there's a lot of other ones that probably won't stick with you as long. Uh, such as, the nun too, right? Like, yeah, that's just another one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they could have called it: nun two, another nun, or something like that. Yeah. Or no, the same nun, no, yeah. the same nun again. That's a nun. <laughs> that's enough. And enough nun. I don't know. However, whatever. 
Uh, how are you? Yeah, and I don't. That's enough. Don't want none. Yeah. <laughs> oh, won't be. Won't start none. Won't be no. Yeah, I think I said <laughs> on the on the, our little chat thread whenever I watched that was the none too. The law of diminishing returns because <laughs> that's what it's starting to feel like with these Conjuring movies for me. It's like. I really, oh, yeah, they're definitely I, by the numbers. <laughs> yeah, like, I really loved, you know, that first handful of movies, you know, and then it's just, like, every time, I ain't going to say every time, but the last probably three or four of these Conjuring flicks that have come out have just kind of been like, all right, you know, maybe you need and to I, take a break, you know? Yeah, yeah, come back, you know, go do some other stuff and come back to it, maybe, maybe come back to it later if you got something really to add to it. But that's the problem, I think, is, like, they had that spark of uh, creativity with the first few where the you know the scripts are linking together and things are you know yeah. okay this is all working really pretty well and all that and then that, that you know as with anything it's just a money maker at the box office and they need to make they need, I mean to to boil it down to its bare essentials they need to make more money since it's still pulling it in but they lost the fire I guess maybe yeah or didn't not to really move the story forward well anymore. you know what it was they didn't have Father Perez in it that was the problem that was- if they had him in there <laughs> uh, I, I, another one that I think people will definitely remember but. For me, it was just like, I don't get it. Megan. Yeah, I didn't see that, one. Didn't see that one. Yeah, well, yeah. you didn't miss but, anything. Yeah. You didn't miss There's anything. Reason. Trust me. Yeah, I, I didn't either. Yeah, you didn't miss anything. Now, look, I'm not going to completely <laughs> shit on it. It's not like the worst thing that I saw, not even this year. And I'll mention that in a minute. But it was just, it was just blah. It was just, you know, look, I guess we have a, a especially here, we've watched so much horror and we've just seen so much horror in our lives, you know, just all the movies that we've watched. When you see one like this, it's kind of like, this is horror for the masses. That's what it is. You know, like you barely see anything, you know, at all in that movie. And it's basically built on viral moments of that damn girl. Like there's a real <laughs> girl in a costume dancing around with like a robot face, you know? So like, that's kind of the the thing that made it as popular as it was the the freaky movement of it and everything. But you know, because in the movie it's a robot, right? But in real life, you know that there's an actual girl just wearing a mask dancing around. You know, it's it's kind of like eh. that's it. That's the only memorable thing from it is just her look. Donnie, it makes Chucky good. How dare you? Well, just I'm telling you, you'll one day you'll see, and I'm telling you, you'll be like, hey, yeah, let's watch another thing child's is, play man. movie. So yeah, I, I you know I I know it's a long running joke that I don't uh, I don't like the uh, Chucky franchise, and that's true. Um, <laughs> but I would rather watch the old Chucky franchise. Or I'm sorry, the old uh, Chucky movies than you know. And and I know this is kind of off topic and off year as well. But um, yeah, the the new Chucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever well, there that, was a series. Yeah. There's a series. Yeah, yeah. The series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Garbage. I haven't well, watched, I haven't watched any of movie too that came out right a remake or something before the series. Yeah, yeah I believe yeah. it was. Yeah, there was yeah. a remake of the original Child's Play. Yeah, I was like, you yeah. know what? I'll give it a shot. Mistake. <laughs> well, like I said, I think you should reserve Chucky judgment on Megan. Watch Megan, and then you bet. You know what? Let's, let's swing back around to old Chuck. The old Chuck. <laughs> That's sort of like you know somebody uh, was like, God, man, you know this stuff stinks. Here, smell it. <laughs> you know, just like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out of my way to do that. Well, look, you're on the spoon. Tastes so awful. Here, try it. Sometimes you have to eat a spoonful of shit here. Uh, them's the rules, brother. There was a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say a massive amount, but there was a good handful of sequels, requels, remakes, reboots, whatever. You know, that this is kind of the new thing. These, well, not new thing, but you know, this seems to be kind of the trend over the last handful of years. So we had. Obviously, Evil Dead Rise, I think, is an example of a good sequel mm. or, you know, when it's done well, right? But then you've got yeah. ones like The Nun 2, which, yeah, okay. Scream 6. That came out, you know, almost exactly, uh, give, or, give or take a year or so ago, just like Megan. Yeah, it was in January, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, it was early on. And you had Saw X, Saw 10, however you want to phrase mm-hmm. it. You have that. What it, Did anybody else see that latest Saw movie? Yeah, we yeah, saw, we it. saw it. I'll let you want to go. You want to give your thoughts on it? I mean, well, you go. Well, I'll give mine because it's. I didn't like it as quite as much because I've said in the past I'm not the hugest Saw franchise fan, right? Mm-hmm. So I liked the first Saw, and then the second Saw I thought was all right, and then after that it's just kind of like, for me it's just too samey, I guess, or whatever. But, uh, but I did enjoy this one better than any of the prior Saw sequels I, that I have seen, even probably at least as good as Part Two, or or maybe even better than that. So yeah, I'll hand it over to Tiana because she's more 
a bit more forgiving of the Saw franchise than I am, I guess. <laughs> I knew it was going to be good because it had Tobin Bell in it. Yeah. So I was, I knew it was going to be decent, and they was. I think it was probably better than the first one. Uh, I don't know about that, but it's probably it's definitely the best one in a long time. If, yeah. If I, I remember know. correctly, uh, Tobin Bell was in Malignant, and Malignant sucked. Malignant. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Malignant. Was he not in Malignant? Now, I believe I he was one of the. Uh, I don't remember uh, if he was. To be honest, I don't cops. No, I grant. Like, like I, you know, we. No, I'm, uh, just, I'm just more about malignant. No, no, we we've already had this discussion. No, yeah, I know. Not suck. <laughs> that did yeah, not I, suck. I'm I'm rewinding two years. Yeah. No. no. That, All right. That didn't suck. That was just fucking wackadoodle. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think. Yeah, I think I. I. Uh, you know, there is some connective. Tissue. I was going to say there is some yeah. connective tissue there, though, right? Because James Wan, right? Mm, yeah. Saw, saw he he's the creator, right, of the Saw franchise. And, I mean, like, as far as Saw, you know, look, once again, I don't want to get deep into the spoilers, but Saw X. Now, Tiana, maybe you can help answer this. Where did that fall in the lineage of things? Because to me, it almost felt like just just straight up like a prequel, right? It's right after the first one, before the third one. Okay. So, yeah, th- this was not to me, it felt less like a return and more like, well, let's go back and tell some more story. Like, here's some shit you didn't know. Right. Yeah. And it had kind of a weird, a little bit of a, if I have any beef with it, I enjoyed it. But if I have any beef with it, it was that, uh, it kind of had a little bit too much of a happy ending to it, you know, without getting into what happened there. It was kind of like a little too, I guess, because like you you, you said, that does take place in between a couple of, you know, early Saw movies. So yeah, they, they can't really, yeah, you know, it has, what you mean, because the other ones are. Dark. Yeah, <laughs> very dark. dark. There's the always end. something <laughs> fucked up that happens at the end. This one's kind of like, all right, well, that was about as pleasant as it's going to end in Saul, right? <laughs> yeah. Scream 6, yet another one. To me, this is where, like, I ain't going to say they jumped the shark here because they jumped the shark on that shit a long time ago. But this is like, for me, it was kind of like, that's enough for now. Stop. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because I really felt Saul, I mean, I uh, saw, getting them all confused now. I felt Scream 5 was pretty solid. And not that this one was terrible. It was just kind of like, it felt like more of the same, you know, too predictable in a lot of ways and just more of the same. And I, and I get yeah. that's kind of what these things are. I mean, like, right, Smoke, we, we've kind of been here since uh, the early days of Friday the 13th, where it's like, here's the same thing kind of over and over again. You either like it or you don't, right? Yeah. That, and you know, again, we've gone over my feelings. You know what franchise I like even less than the Saw franchise? <laughs> The screen franchise. So 2023 <laughs> was the year for Smoke's favorite franchises to stick another one up your ass, right? <laughs> the Nun 2, Saw, Saw 45, <laughs> Scream 6. Yeah, yeah there's there's oh, yeah, three fran- three franchises right there that have started off. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay. okay. For me, what, regardless of my personal views on it, which I you know I don't really care for the, even the first Scream movie all that much. I like the first Saw movie. But, you know, the, all of those franchises arguably started off really well. And just took a fucking tank after, yeah. you know, however many. I mean, some people like some ones better than others when it comes to the Conjuring universe, but certainly, like you said earlier, the last few have been just, just stopped now. <laughs> yeah, just quit. Yeah. And we had, uh, which we've already talked about because we had a whole episode on it, The Exorcist Believer, you know, yet another, yet another sequel. The biggest shit show of them all. Yeah, for, for, <laughs> for me. Oh, no. Yeah, for me, for this year, as far as big Hollywood, you know. Well, theatrical releases let me, go, yeah. Let me, clue you, let me clue you in on a little movie called Snow Falls. It should be, called, it should be called Snow Balls because that movie sucks. <laughs> oh, me, man. I, I, would, I, would, um, I would sit there and watch The Exorcist Believer on a 12-hour nonstop marathon before I'd ever watch Snow Falls again. So I would probably say my version of that. Uh, so I, did, I didn't watch Snow Falls. Well, but I'm, I, I might be the sucker. only one that has on the planet, you know, other than people that made it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm I'm a sucker for shark movies. I watched The Black Demon. Okay. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. Terrible. I heard. Well, God, see, we yeah. watched. I uh, saw somebody do a review of it, and it, they they hated it pretty much. Yeah. So. Yeah. They said the shark was barely even in the movie. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, it well, was, that sounds fun. Rough, like, man. let's watch a shark movie where the shark is barely fucking in it. That sounds great. And the person reviewing this, I don't remember exactly who it was, but was talking about the comparisons to Jaws because Jaws, you don't you see bits and pieces of Bruce, you know, the the mechanical yeah, shark, yeah, and that makes it 
better than than it's than showing too much because then you get Jaws four where it's roaring coming up out of the water. And I was t- <laughs> <laughs> but the first Jaws movie, he you know Steven Spielberg of course didn't have anything to do with the fourth one, but the first one he was conservative on how much he showed the shark, but when you see it, you know at the end it, it, that makes the impact that much more. I think so. Yeah, I guess that would be the <laughs> good version of seeing less is is you know is seeing less is more for Jaws, yeah. but apparently not for. What was it? The Black Shark? No. The Black Demon. The Black Demon. I'll list off a handful of other movies that I did not like. Look, I hated Snowfalls the most. Like, I hate that movie. These other ones were like, eh, that was, that was either boring or, you know, eh. Uh, Alone at Night. Night of the Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> of, course, of course you watched that. You know what? There was something there. There was a germ of an idea there, but, like, the acting is so bad in that movie for me. And this is, it wasn't like, hey, it was just not good. I mean, like, maybe if you had a couple better actors, you know, in a slightly bigger budget, there was something there. But, yeah, it, it just didn't hit for me. I didn't like it. The Devil Conspiracy. Got some other man movies. Baby Ruby. Sorry About the Demon. Yeah, th- that's just corny <laughs> as hell. This, this is a corny-ass horror comedy about this dude that uh, his girlfriend gets possessed by a demon or something. It's just not. It's 90s bad. You know, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> here's here's a, a I, I'm not going to say bad, but a very divisive movie because it wasn't bad. It was very original. Skin of a Rink. Oh, yeah. That's on a lot of people's top list. And yeah. look, I could see, and I mean, I could see that. Either that yeah, yeah. Either top or bottom. <laughs> yeah. No, it's that kind of a divisive movie. Yeah. yeah. It's, you're right. It's either like, it's it's in my top ten or it's in my bottom ten. For me, I'm sorry, it was bottom ten. That, but I'll, I'll give hats off for creativity and hats off for creating something that was very unique and uh, have you know has like you said divisive and has has people talking about it. I, I'll give them credit for that. That f- did not feel like a movie to me though. Nah, we saw it. Did you see it in the theater? No, no, I watched it at home. You know, like I think when it came on Shutter or whatever. But and I'm sure it probably oh, yeah. would have been better that way because. I will say the sound design was really good on that. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention in the theater. It was that sound design really did play like another character in the movie. Yeah, of of where the sound came from, you know, because that movie was all about just experimental analog audio sounds of things, doors slamming, muffled voices, TV yeah. snippets of cartoons running in and out, not just dreamlike right stuff. And yeah, it did work good in the theater. And we, there was only I think one other couple maybe in the theater when we went. To, to see it and they left after about 20 minutes or so <laughs> when they realized okay i guess nothing's gonna happen then yeah so when you when they got you, up and left and when you get the rest yeah the that far in and you're like this isn't a movie and then you just get up and leave <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because <laughs> they probably are sitting there like is anything really gonna happen i mean what is anybody gonna talk i mean yeah. well somebody's talking this like Muff, i can't hear what they're saying <laughs> yeah there's a lot of talking you I mean, don't, they, you don't see pe- you don't see people that much you know, like period, like there's talking, but it's not like a movie dialogue going on. It's more like people whispering in the dark and stuff like that. Like you said, muffled sounds and I don't know. It's fucking weird. You know, but like I said, hats off for uh, a for effort, man. <laughs> hats off for creativity, right? Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby. To get ourselves a treat. Oh, another weird one, the Outwaters. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, that one's one of my. And that's one, and once again another divisive movie where I had Skin of Rink kind of low. This one was kind of high for me because if for no other reason than that that last twenty or thirty minutes, it is batshit <laughs> insanity. I mean, really, the just about the whole movie is, but like, once they kind of get lost in the desert and you don't know what the fuck is going on, and it keeps going on, like it, this ain't like ten minutes of chaos. It's like forty-five minutes of chaos. 
of <laughs> found footage, people running around in the desert, and blood. <laughs> I mean, like that's the only yeah. way I can describe it. It is crazy. Very psychedelic. Well, it's psychedelic, but not in the sense that most people think of like, ooh, flashy, pretty lights and this, yeah. that, you know, and like, oh, here's the Doors soundtrack playing or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, more like like a like you took way too much acid. Yeah. And then way it, like you ate like a handful of acid or something, and then. And then it, this is the experience yeah, you had. And then, chased it, <laughs> and then chased it with peyote and, high, yeah. and <laughs> ayahuasca or something. And, yeah. and with a touch of bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. That last little bit is fucking nuts. That's all I'll say, man. You need It, it needs to be seen. Just like Skin of Marink. Like, it may not be the best movie in the world, but it just needs to be seen at least once. You know? <laughs> it's one of those kind of flicks. <laughs> I'll tell you another really original... Uh, body horror type thing in, in the grand tradition, infinity pool from this past. Oh year. yeah. That was another, yeah. Oh, that was up there for me. I forgot. Too. Yeah. I forgot. I, some of these movies, I forget that they were 2023. It feels <laughs> like so long ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like January or February. Yeah. It's like first half of the year. So yeah, it seems like forever ago, but once again, another unique type of flick, but at least it was a movie, right? It's not, it's not yeah. the weirdness of the outwaters or uh skin of Marink, but, there's a lot of weird body horror type stuff going on here, right? As you would expect, right? Because wasn't that that was Cro- was that Cronenberg Brandon. or that was Brandon Cronenberg? Because yeah, Cronenberg also had a movie out this year, but we didn't see that one. Yet. No, I no. think that was last year. Or was that last year? Maybe that was last year. Yeah, yeah, it was Cronenberg's uh, kid, but uh, very much uh, uh, a branch off of his father's tree for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no one will. What say- was the name that was in that? That was from um. Oh, her, that was her uh, name is Stars. Yeah, Mia Goth. Yeah. Yeah, Mia Goth and uh, uh, Bill Skarsgård, right? Another one, No One Will Save You. I didn't get to see it yet. I uh, didn't see that one. <laughs> Very, I, I don't want to give away too much. It's kind of a throwback. I, I will say this, it's 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 got something to do with aliens. I'll leave it, I'll <laughs> leave it there. But it's really well done. Especially for like, a, <laughs> especially for a movie like, the, you know, that just went straight to Hulu or something. Like, I think whenever you finally yeah. sit down and, and watch it, you'll agree, like, this should have been in theaters. Like this should have been a wide release. I'm not saying it would have done gangbusters. You know, it's not the next, you know, big release or anything like that. But it, almost like uh, that Predator movie that came out year before last, Prey. Like, yeah, that should have yeah. that should have been in theaters. You know, like there, there's no reason for that to go straight to Hulu. That should have been witnessed on the big screen, and that's kind of the way I felt about that. I'll tell you one that I know probably none of you guys watched, but I watched and really enjoyed. Kind of unexpectedly, it was a movie called Candyland. I think technically it might have been released in 2022, but I don't think it got any kind of wide release, so to speak, until early 2023. But that was really, really good. And th- and this is your uh, this is your uh, this kind of thing that you can sink your teeth into, smoke. It's it's about hookers at a uh, <laughs> at a tr- <laughs> it's about hookers at a truck stop, and there is there is killing involved. <laughs> I really think you'd like this if you got a, if you if you uh, get a chance to sit down and watch it. I, I really enjoyed it. M Night Shyamalan. Yeah, I know. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say M Night Shyamalan had a new one this year. Knock at the cabin. Yeah, yeah, I did watch that, and that was very unexpected for me. Like, mm. I mean, in a way, like it, it just I guess in the in the grand tradition of Shyamalan movies, right, where he kind of like, oh, you think I'm going left? I'm going right. You know, like that that went in some directions I didn't think it was going to go, and it was a lot darker than it. <laughs> that I really thought it was going to be. Well, the book is actually darker. <laughs> Sounds like a Stephen King kind of switch. I didn't, yeah. I, you got me there. I didn't even know there was a book, so I might have to go check that out. That's King took I, it from. I yeah, will not. I guess because it's his first movie that he did based on a book, mm-hmm. right? That wasn't okay. his own original script, yeah. which might be why it kind of, you know, you talked about some of the, you know, the, the head fuckery that, M. Night Shyamalan does is some of that's in here, but not as much as you use. Like, certainly no. didn't have a crazy twist. Like, he has just about every movie at the end of it. And I, he, he changed the ending. Yeah. I, th- I think the <laughs> twist is more in the fact that, like, okay, they went there, you know, in the end yeah. kind of yeah. thing. That was, you know, the twist yeah. in this. Like, you didn't really think they'd go that far. And then, well, shit, here we are. You know, <laughs> that was unexpected <laughs> act- to me. He actually made that ending happy. <laughs> Good pants in the book. <laughs> Well, as where it's the opposite. Well, you just made me remember the mist. How you know? That, oh, yeah. The Stephen King short oh. story. That movie was way darker. Oh yeah. yeah. Way the ending of it specifically was way darker yeah. than uh, King's novella. 
Yeah, because I from what I, I mean from what I remember at the end of that one, they, it's a happy ending basically, right? Once they get out of the supermarket. In the original story? Yeah, well, I think it just kind of keeps going. Like, it's kind of open-ended, if I recall, in the story. It was kind of like, it was kind of like, well, uh, you know, the, these 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 main characters, these these people, they still, they, they continue to survive. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's kind of, you know, the way that went. But the movie went a completely different direction. And we don't want to give that away for anyone that hasn't seen that nah. in the last 10 or 15 years. But And the, the story I've read, but it's been so many years ago, I couldn't even remember how that one, the yeah. actual short story, did it? There was a, another good handful of movies that I liked, some that I didn't like. But, I mean, overall, was there anything else you guys wanted to mention before we start wrapping it up and uh, talk about what we're looking forward to next year? Yeah, I want to talk about something I put off until just recently. Okay. And which we had gone and seen it in the movie theater. The Pope's Exorcist. You know that's or the Pope. That, that I actually one, did see that. That's one I had on my short list, and I just did not have. I ran out of time before we did this. You know, recorded this. So I couldn't believe how good it was. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah it, it was pretty good. Even so, that yeah, was better just, than Believer. <laughs> I was about to say just based on title, so I guess it was the better of the Exorcist movies this year. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, look, sense. you can't count. I, I know what you might be thinking when evil lurks. That yeah. ain't no exorcist movie. No, no but it is a, a possession, possession movie. It is deals with demons of possession, I guess, in a way. I mean, you could, yes. it's definitely a different direction than the exorcist. Yeah. Yeah, way different. Now, I know what you mean, but I, I know where you're going with that, but that's way different. This is, that's more like a, a, a disease or something. You know, like this is a set up yeah. world of, of fuckery, you know, where it's normal. I guess in a way, right? Like they, this is an accepted thing in that world. Whereas, you know, the exorcist takes place in the real world, but yeah, that, that Pope's exorcist, it looked really interesting. And I did hear some good things about it. Just never got around to it. Instead, I was wasting time with snow falls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there was one movie that we saw in the theater. I don't know if y'all saw it. We haven't mentioned it at all yet. in This episode. I wanted to like this movie better because it's a holiday Christmas horror movie. I'm like, oh, cool. Okay, a Christmas horror movie. And the name was cool. It was kind of a play on words. But unfortunately, there was the coolest thing about the movie, and that was uh, It's a Wonderful Night. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get to it. It's a play on It's a Wonderful Life, of course. But, you know, so that that title is about the wittiest thing about the movie, I thought. Was. <laughs> it was, unfortunately, not good. And then when Thanksgiving came out, it blew it out of the water as far as holiday movies go this yeah. week. Yeah, that was really, you know, like, although I, I do have some criticisms for Thanksgiving, I still really enjoyed it. I'm not going to shit on it. There was just some things, you know, that we'll get into one of these days when we sit down and watch it. We ought to hold on to it tight, though, because there's not that many Thanksgiving horror movies. So, like, we're not going to get to that <laughs> until Thanksgiving, right? You know, like, we need to wait. Yeah, yeah we can't just, just uh, you know, all of a sudden in June, oh, yeah, we're doing Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. <laughs> Donnie, have you have you been able to pull together or see anything about like what's coming out in twenty twenty four that we might be uh, that you might can entice us with to get us to the yeah? Theater? So uh, quite quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of things. Uh, less than twenty, uh, but uh, in no particular order, and certainly uh, uh, not in any sort of uh, uh, release order mm-hmm. either. But um, got some titles that um, basically the most anticipated. Uh, horror movies of 2024. So before you say it, these will be like the list that like most people will be looking forward to, but smoke will be looking forward to any of it. So go ahead. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) All right. Well, maybe a couple, I don't know. Um, night swim. Mm. You know, Um, I saw the trailer for that and that kind of looks, I don't know, you know, looks like something that, so, you know, you've got haunted house movies and then this one is, I guess is a haunted pool. (laughs) Which is, <laughs> yeah, that's where, like, uh, I don't know. That's kind of my see. read on it. I'm like, uh, maybe it's another you know snowfall. Hmm. Well, I won't say that it reminded me of this movie. It's just the concept of the swimming pool and somebody disappearing in it. The movie House from the 80s. Oh, <laughs> this God. movie's not at all. Oh, yeah. that. No, this, this looks worse. <laughs> um, next one is Maxine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's probably one of my top. Yeah. I, uh, I, honestly, I thought that was going to be coming out in 2023, I guess. Maybe it never was intended to, but yeah, yeah. But, or maybe got pushed back, whatever. But like ever since, uh, oh God, what was the last one? Uh, uh, there was X and then there was what? 
Oh, it was Pearl. 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 For ever since Pearl, I was it, like, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Mm. That'll be good. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. But um, uh, Nosferatu. There we go. Yeah, that, that that's would, my oh, one. Those two. Those are my most anticipated movies. Those two right there. There we go. Well, <laughs> we've we've struck gold <laughs> early here for Old Smoke. Maybe, yeah. maybe he does have. Maybe his heart has grown two sizes this holiday season. Well, yeah. no, it, it's probably just that it has Robert Eggers attached to Nosferatu. Ah, and, sure. uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, Terrifier three. There you go. And that's supposed yeah. to be uh, Christmas art, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming that means they'll wait until Christmas time next year. Yeah. Hey. Coming out. It's coming out this year, Halloween time. Okay. Well, so it, it's going to be before. I don't know why. Maybe. Because yeah. he's but, been putting it out. Yeah, he's been putting them out at Halloween time. But I guess, yeah. I mean, you know, it's in, in anticipation of Christmas season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, no. close enough. And uh, Smile 2. Eh. <laughs> well, you know, it's just it it did kind of come out of nowhere with the whole like how they marketed it. Now I will give them an A plus on marketing. Absolutely. Like they that whoever was behind that, bravo, my friends. Bravo. And then the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, the then marketing, the, yeah. and then the pesky movie had to come out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, quite yeah, so- a lot of um uh, quite a lot of sequels and uh, prequels, but um, um, here's another one, probably you know, definitely uh, anticipated Beetlejuice too. Yeah, well, that, oh. yeah. that's one of those ones where it's like, uh, you know, fan fiction type shit. You know, uh, people have been waiting 35 years for that. So, no, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Um, we've got Alien Romulus. Okay, I don't know whether. Or not? <laughs> yeah, no. You do it. You'll, me, you'll do it. And you'll clean it up. I don't. You know, like I haven't seen the last. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't seen the last couple of Alien movies, like Prometheus no. or any of the newer stuff. So like, I-, I wanted to, just never got around to it. And yeah, Prometheus was pretty it's good. Really good. good. I, I mean, I need to see it again. I feel like I want to see it again because I only seen it at one time when it was in theater. But I, I liked it. I think I feel like maybe I like it better even the second time around. But well, maybe, the last Alien movie, whatever it was called, was not as good as that. <laughs> well, maybe if we can ever get through the damn Hellraiser series, we could jump on the Alien series. Just so we... Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Um, but we never will finish it. And we've also got. Uh, you lost my horror bone. You made my horror boner go down. Yeah. Talking about the television. <laughs> <laughs> That's why yeah. they call that the lament configuration, Smoke. <laughs> that's right. That's what that's what's kind of like a figure forward wrestling. The limit configuration will make your horror boner go down quicker than you. Yeah, I got about a dozen more here, but uh, um, a quiet place day one. So the prequel. Oh, yeah. That that could be interesting. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed both those flicks. So you know, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's highly anticipated, but you know, I, I'll check it out. No, um, the first Omen. Uh, not saying I won't. Watch it. Well, that's what it's it. called. The first Omen is the title. Oh. Yeah. Not saying oh, okay. I won't watch it. Not saying it. You know, it may not be good. It's just you know, yeah. sketchy when you're talking about like uh, requels, remakes, sequels, whatever of like, yeah. you know, old top flight stuff like that. You know. Mm, yeah. Um, we've got it's not the first Omen though. Are they talking about it's a prequel or is it? Are they talking about remaking so. the first Omen? <laughs> No, I guess we'll find out. I think it's like a prequel. I think. Yeah, uh, probably. We'll find, yeah. That's probably what it is. Uh, we've got Imaginary, which I believe uh, is about the teddy bear. Oh God! Wait a minute. Is that that one that's got something to do with like from the assholes who brought you Megan? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, probably. All new TikTok dances. Yeah. Like Teddy Ruxpin oh, or something. I don't know. Yeah, Teddy Ruxpin. Um, well, look, as long as he actually kills somebody instead of just like it happens off screen like in Megan, then I'm cool with it. No. <laughs> so we kind of have this l- little lull in the middle and uh, we may, I don't know, I guess we'll uh, see. So we we do have a couple of untitled movies. Hmm. We've got the untitled Jordan Peele movie. Okay, well, that's, that's always going to be highly anticipated at this yeah. point. Yeah, and uh, we've also got the untitled Universal Monster movie. Mixed results. I don't know. Yeah, mixed results. I thought they were doing Wolfman. Wolfman's got nards. 
<laughs> now remember they already did the wolf man like over a decade ago now you know yeah it's like 2010 is when they did uh benicio del toro yeah, yeah. um anthony hopkins maybe i, think, I don't before. know now you know what you could be looking at there sometimes they like they'll kind of earmark like you know this is coming out on this date they'll kind of grab the date and then some information will come out later yeah so maybe you know it's kind of one of those deals they're, they're not updating you with all the info yet also got the crow reboot uh bill skarsgård well I, from what i understand it's got some interesting people involved so mm, we'll see yeah. we'll see um we've got return to silent hill i mean you know we'll see you know yeah. <laughs> it's like these all these ones you've been mentioning it's like i'm not anticipating them at all but maybe maybe it they'll might be-, be something you know yeah um, no, what's going to happen, uh, Tiana, you're going to take smoke to go see these movies. And then he's going to forget that he saw them. Yeah. <laughs> then, be you, forgettable. Yeah. then you'll have to remind him. Oh, oh yeah. We saw that. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got, uh, they follow the, I guess the, um, that could be a sequel to it follows. Yeah. That could, that like could be it. interesting. Um, and two more smoke might, uh, recall this one, Uh-oh. um, which board, Oh. oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Have we done that on the show or no? No, we, we haven't. haven't. We've. Nah, I think we've. We we've probably mentioned it a time or two, but we haven't done it. That. I don't know. That. <laughs> is it? Gonna know. Be, it's is a it, weird. It's a very weird thing to be doing a reboot. A reboot. Yeah. Of. Yeah. Right. I mean, like that. It's not like this. That's this like a uh, very beloved thing. But I'm sure anyone that's I, seen it, you know, will be like, yeah, that's that is fucking <laughs> whack. You know, I don't know. It's kind of like it. making uh, Children of the Corn or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Mm, it's like yeah. not like the person with any great shakes or anything, but you know. No, but interesting. And kind of rounding out the list is uh, Trick or Treat Two, which wow. uh, you know that was, I guess that's the um, we did the Trick the, or Treat you One, mean the, the heavy metal horror movie from nineteen eighty. <laughs> No, yeah, no. This is was this uh, we did the first trick or treat when um, it was like episode two back in uh, Spook Show archives. I would love smoke what you just said to see the return of Sammy Kerr. <laughs> yeah. That I, I could get behind that. Not that I can't yeah. get behind. I mean, look, it would have to be a different actor because I think he died. The one I can't remember his name right now. The guy that played Sammy Kerr, but yeah, unfortunately. But there yeah, is this guy yeah. that we saw on. Like, oh, he's on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. It's exactly like him. <laughs> he does little reenactments of trick or treat scenes or or new scenes or whatever. Yeah. This dude could play him. We need to get him. You know, get some people talking about. Him. Well, even a Thank sequel you. though to the one that you're talking about with you know the trick or trick or treat with uh yeah. you know, the little uh, demon Sam right. Yep. Yeah, I definitely, you know, I really enjoyed that first one. So, yeah, I'm definitely on board with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they don't fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we can say that about everything we just talked about. Hopefully they yeah. don't fuck it up. So don't fuck it up. We'll be all right. That's true. Well, that's, we, right. well, that, that's kind of what, Halloween. that's kind of one of the things that I wanted us to focus on a little bit more this year. And we talked about it with uh, Stephanie Malone when we had her on a couple weeks ago. Um, just trying to do a little bit more of the newer stuff this year, you know, at least make a little bit more of a concerned effort to like, once, if we go see it, let's talk about it. You know, that, that kind of thing. So maybe we'll get to see a good handful of these movies that we just talked about, but regardless, I think it was another interesting year. If nothing else in 2023, there was some really top flight stuff like evil dead rise when evil lurks talk to me, Thanksgiving stuff that you'll talk. I think we'll be talking about for years to come. And then there was everything else. So, <laughs> Um, divisive things like the Outwater, Skin of Marine, very interesting stuff. Infinity Pool, all the sequels and everything. So it was, it was. I think it was altogether a pretty good year. Um, and like we said off the top, what better way to kick off twenty twenty four than to kind of revisit what we went through this past year, and 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 also in hopes that this year will be better, right? So that's always the hope. Before we completely wrap it up here, though, next week. We'll actually have our first movie review of 2024. And Tiana, it was your choice this time around. So what movie are we going to be watching next week? It's going to be St. Maud. This is going to be interesting. I think it's going to be another interesting uh, conversation. I'll leave it there. Yeah, it's an A24. So so you know it's going to be not divisive, but just interesting. 
to say the least, you know, when it's another A24 flick. So um, come back next week right here every Monday at 6 p.m. East. That's when the new episodes come out. Um, lots of cool stuff lined up for the rest of January. And before you know it, man, episode 200, right around the horizon. It's uh, That episode will come out on February 19th. So before you know it, big plans, big big goings ons. No telling what kind of surprises we'll have up our sleeve for the big episode 200. So for Will, who couldn't be with us, Donnie, Tiana, Professor Smoke, I'm Josh. We are the All-American Spook Show, and we'll talk to you next week for St. Maud. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, guys. See you. As you leave the theater, folks, please be careful. Don't let this happen to your car. Be sure to remove the speaker before you leave. If you should accidentally pull a speaker loose, please turn it in at our snack bar or box office. Thank you.